Hey guys, Andre here, uh, vocalist and uh, Woodwinds player from EANA, a folk metal Romanian band, uh, answering some questions by Global Metal Apocalypse. Let's do this. First one, how has the COVID-19 pandemic affected your band's plans? Are they cancelled or postponed? Well, yes and no. We did have a couple of... Um, Concerts planned in Romania, so not, not abroad, just in Romania, and we indeed either postponed them, yeah, for now we, we say we postponed them, but again, some of the terms that are the new the new dates, they, they are in the autumn, might not happen because we don't know how the situation will develop until then. But mainly, yes, we did have not that many gigs, but we did have to reprogram them. On the other hand, we did have more time to um, work on music, so since March we've been releasing one song each month and we intend to keep doing that for as long as possible. Obviously now the conditions aren't that ideal because we can't really visit studios, so maybe we will be able in, in the future, but until now we weren't able to do that, so we had to record at home with what we have available, but it turned out quite decent, let's say. You can listen to our songs from 2020 and tell us about it. And yeah, it could be worse, you know. Let's see, second question. What lockdown restriction measures have been put in place? How are the Romanian people coping? Well, this differs from individual to individual, of course. I, for example, am not that used to social interaction let's say so it hasn't been such a big deal for me as it's been for other people even other people in the band for example they are way more socially active beings than i am so they've had it a bit harder than me in this regard uh, yeah restrictions there were restrictions we weren't uh, allowed to leave the house for a few months i think Except if we had a stupid paper on which you write the reason of leaving the house and there were only a few eligible reasons like going to buy groceries or uh, meds and stuff like that and a few others I've forgotten but yeah and it was kind of like you are stating there that you are responsible for the fact that you are leaving the house because of this and only for a certain time frame so you had to write there okay i'm out from 7 until 8 pm or something like that now this is not in effect anymore you are allowed to go out outside it's mandatory to wear a mask although not everybody wears it um, it's mandatory indoors sorry and yeah you know, some people are responsible regarding this, other people are not, many of them are not, and yeah, that's not great, and I'm expecting to see some effects of this in the near future. Yeah, we haven't had concerts or anything like that in a while, and now it's slowly sort of coming back with these, let's say, social distancing gigs. I've actually attended one last week, it was really weird. You had to, of course, keep the distance, wear a face mask. I brought my, uh, I brought some sanitary alcohol with me, and I was disinfecting every beer I, I got from the bar and stuff like that. Uh, and each person had their own uh, square, so it was a delimited space, uh, two by two meters, and you weren't allowed to get in. The square of another person it was quite interesting and i think effective yeah it was it turned out pretty well and this is what we will also have something like that actually this week it was totally unexpected came out of the blue it's some small festival in northwestern romania near bistrica and they reached out to us and told us hey guys do you want to play it's like this it's with uh, uh, maximum limit maximum capacity, uh, social distancing and all that and we said yeah sure let's do it so I'm pretty curious about how it will turn out 
maybe this is what the future will look like in the next months or even years, who knows. Let's hope not. But it's gonna be interesting for sure. How has this affected the Romanian metal scene? Oh, I think I kind of answered this one already, haven't I? So, of course, we weren't the only band affected by this. Everyone has been affected by this. We, we personally, for example, have a rehearsal room that we pay for. We pay the rent for it. Uh, we've been doing so since 2018. And obviously now having no concerts, it has been really difficult to do that because the band has no income, just uh, spends without the money having a possibility to return to us. So we, after releasing our latest song, Doi, we also released a t-shirt with that artwork, which I really like. I think it's one of our best artworks so far with a specific purpose to get at least um, 50 orders so that it's worth doing them because it's also the cost depends on how many t-shirts you make and that will help us pay a month's rent maybe two months and it turned out pretty well we hope we already have almost 100 i think orders which is really nice so yeah, that was one thing we could do. Uh, we are we live in five different cities, so we can't do stuff like uh, a live stream concert or whatever. That was out of the question for sure. So yeah. Also, we have our Patreon page, and let's say we manage. And the final question: Any final thoughts, words to say to the international metal community? Yeah, maybe. I'm not that good with giving advice or whatever, thoughts. Um, hang in there, like we all do. We're all in this together. Please don't um, take this lightly or, I don't know, engage into stupid conspiracy theories. Like, I don't believe this exists. It's just some manner of the government to control the population or bullshit like that. Please why would you even think that it's something that might endanger you might endanger your loved ones just take care it's just some precautionary measures you have to take wear a fucking mask wash your hands and stuff like that it's not that much to ask of a modern human being is it other than that to each his own you know some decided to be super productive like me for instance uh, but you don't have to feel bad if you don't do that during these times. If you have too much time on your hands, do whatever works best for you. I think you can't force inspiration or concepts like concepts like that into your life at at whenever whichever time you want. So yeah, you don't have to make music each day or I don't know, improve your person let's say just hang in there do whatever is best for you and i think the rest will come thanks for listening this has been andre from bye